Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to cut an apple with zero waste. And I know you're thinking, oh, well, they make the core things that, you know, have like a spiral that are circular and then they have a hole in the middle and you just punch it straight through the middle and it will give you slices and take out the core. Well, the core is really not that much in here. And if you have a small apple, like I got a bag of these apples and they were really small, like two and a quarter, two and a half inch diameter. So if you had like a regular core size, I don't even know because I don't use one of those things, but sometimes that center is pretty big and you can imagine if, you know, I used one of those on this, it would take, you know, quite a, quite a bit of my apple out of here. So I'm going to show you guys how to cut this super easy without a core thing. And you're going to get a lot of your apple out of here and have really like zero waste and super, super easy. First, I want to tell you guys, you really ideally want to try and get organic apples. Apples are one of the highest sprayed fruits uh, as far as pesticides. You still want to wash them and wash them with some kind of um, you know, fruit or vegetable wash. The next thing is what I do is when I have it underneath the faucet, okay, I already kind of did it here. I didn't really worry about this, the top little stem here, but sometimes the bottom here has little kind of fuzzy things. So when it's running under the water, I just take my fingernail and then just kind of turn it and kind of scoop it out a little bit. And you can kind of see, you know, now it's fairly clean and it's not going to wreck your nail or anything like that. You're not trying to dig in really hard and a whole bunch, but I just kind of run under the water and kind of do a circle and spin it like this. And it kind of, you can sort of see, it kind of cleans it out a little bit, gets rid of some of those fuzzies. So that's what I do when I start before I start to cut the apples. So let me guys, let me show you guys a close-up view of when I start cutting this apple. Okay, so the big thing is you want to have the right size knife or, or so for your apple. So for example, these are smaller apples. This is a pretty good size knife for these apples. So first thing, I'm going to take this knife. I'm going to go straight down the middle with it and cut it in half. Okay. So now we have it in two halves. Now what you can do is you can take it and then you're going to cut it in half again. So now basically it's into quarters. And either way you can, you know, you can cut it this way if it's easier or if you just want to hold it and cut it like this, you can do it that way. Now we have it into four pieces here. So now we have the inside of the core right here. So what I do is I just hold it like this and I just take this real and basically this thumb is guiding the knife. So when you see it, it looks like it's really scary, like it's cutting into myself. It's really not. It's like this thumb is basically just pulling it into here. And I just kind of do like a triangle like this and then just snap it out. So same thing in here. You can barely see there's a seed. I just pull it in like a triangle, pull it like this and you can just kind of like snap it and just kind of flip it and it's out. Same thing with this. There's a couple of seeds here. You can see like this is really the core is just this kind of little thing here. So I take it in at a triangle, take it in this way and kind of snap it and it's out. And you can see there's really I'm not wasting anything. It's just basically the seeds in there and this little teeny part of the core. And these actually just kind of are all sort of popping out right now. But you can see this part here, you know, where it's kind of like the harder part. So I'll just take that in like a triangle this way and kind of snaps out and falls right out. So now, depending on how big your apple is, these are really little apples, so now I can just take it and cut it like this, and now I have little bite-sized pieces. And let's say if this was, you know, a really big apple, I could cut it, you know, in more pieces if I wanted to. So that is it. And I don't mind this little area right here, you know. But if for some reason, you know, you or your kids don't like this little edge, you can hold it on edge and just 
cut that off if you wanted to. I don't really care about it. So I'll eat it, but you can see how easy that is. So now you can see all that's really, there's no waste. There's just seeds and that teeny little bit of the core. Okay, so that's about it. Just remember, like I said, cutting this way is not going to be dangerous at all. You're just using your thumb to basically move it so that it is safe. Just use the right length of knife, you know, like, like I said, this is the perfect size knife for this size of an apple. So just be careful, um, but it should be no big deal. Cut them up into whatever sizes that you want. You're not uh, wasting anything and you're using all the apple. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you guys want to keep up to date on new videos. Thumbs up if you guys like the video. And if you haven't checked out my health ebook, check that out. All the links to everything is in the description box below, including my Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, and all that cool stuff. So anyways, hope you guys are having a great day and eat your apples. Okay, bye.